expected. What do you mean? I mean, what if he were somehow different, not some flashy king on horseback? Is this about that Galilean? Joseph, I've warned you about this kind of reckless speculation. Why don't you go talk to him? Why me? Because no one on the Sanhedrin will take my word for it. They respect you more than anyone. They'll listen to you. You're the wise one. Are we just going to let him do that? Of course not. But now is not the time. He'll make another mistake. What are you talking about? Oh, this Jesus of Nazareth. The carpenter from Galilee. He's gathered a group of disciples. He has an entourage. So? He caused a riot in the temple. A riot? Yes. He threw out all of the merchants by whip, turned their tables upside down, and then he said, tear down this temple, and I will raise it again in three days. He's crazy. Yeah. He called the merchants demons. No, he called them robbers. <laughs> Maybe they cheated him. Always playing to the crowd, Nicodemus? You could wear my robes one day. You just have to decide whose side you're on. Gentlemen, come. Apparently Jesus is more concerned with our dirty house than with the Romans. Are you trying to use my words against me? He's healing people. He's doing miracles. Find him. Talk to him. Maybe he's from God. Maybe he's a prophet. I think he may be more. Will you just talk to him? If I do, will you stop all this talk about Jesus the Messiah in front of me? I hope I won't have to. Unless a man is born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. 
But how can a man be born again when he's old? He can't enter the womb a second time, can he? I'm telling you the truth. Unless a man is born of water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. But how can that be? You're Israel's teacher and you don't understand? If I tell you earthly things and you don't believe, how will you believe when I tell you of heavenly things? Listen. Our Abba Father so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever will believe in him will not perish, but have everlasting life.
did Jesus have to come back? He came to Passover. He came to die. You know that's what they're going to do. Oh, you mean what we're going to do? Well, it doesn't matter who you or I think he is. I can't protect him anymore. It doesn't matter who he is. He's the Messiah. Do not talk like that. You know who he is. You know what he is. The one you've waited for all your life. You're... He's just a good teacher. That's all. He raised a man from the dead. He claims to be God's son. He's not just a good teacher. He's either a liar or a lunatic. Which one is it, Nicodemus? You won't even acknowledge him, much less protect him. What can I do? You can do something. The last time he was in the city, you kept them from arresting him. You have influence. You can do it again. Are you serious? What can I do? It's done. What more would he gain if I'm thrown out of the Sanhedrin? If I lose everything? If they stone me for blasphemy? You know that's what they do. It's not too late. Are you serious? They've already paid one of his disciples to betray him. I'm afraid it's gone too far to stop. Do you know the irony? I'm certain he would give his life to save us, yet we won't even risk our own prestige to save him. I remember when we woke up every morning expecting the Messiah to arrive. And today turns out to be the day.